At the time, it was only the second known procedure of its kind on twins. A partial delivery and an immediate surgery at just 29 weeks. We first introduced you to Janessa and Genesis three years ago. Just wait until you see them now. This is Janessa. Say hi. Hello, Janessa. When we first met the now three-year-old, she was leaving the hospital after a six-month stay in the neonatal intensive care unit. Her twin, Genesis, had already gone home. The sisters had a tricky start. This is the tumor here, this whole area here, encompassing the chin, the neck, the back of the neck, and the upper part of the chest. At 29 weeks, a giant mass growing on Janessa's neck was causing too much fluid to build up, compromising Theodora Flores' pregnancy. That's when Dr. Amon Shaban, along with a team of 40, delivered her, but only partially. So I only know of one other case that's been done this way. What's called an exit procedure is extremely rare in twins. In order to be able to do the procedure, we had to treat her first, leaving the healthy sister inside. We brought the, the upper torso, the neck, and the arms out to be able to get access to the airway. The next step, Dr. Jonathan Ida placed a breathing tube in Janessa's airway. They can be kept on a mother's placental support for about an hour and a half to two hours. It gives us plenty of chance to secure the airway and make sure that the baby's safe. In doing that, we were able to um, to uh, treat Janessa, get her securing her airway uh, as we wanted to make that stable transition from being a fetus to a newborn without any uh, deprivation of oxygen, delivered her, and then went in and got her twin, uh, Genesis, and we're able to deliver her safely. Janessa was taken to the operating room where surgeons removed the giant tumor. It wasn't her last surgery. In October 2021, she required airway reconstruction. We actually put um, some absorbable plates on the sides of her trachea in order to stent it outwards, and then we put a graft in the front and the back. So her airway actually got um, pieces all around like a box to keep it open. You wouldn't believe what we've been through since delivery, um, coming home, all of that, just looking at them now. Now, at three years old, they are healthy and full of energy. The girls have speech delays and Janessa still has a feeding tube, but they have each other to lean on. I just like love seeing them climb and get into everything and no matter how much craziness they bring and how much frustration they give me, it's just like, I don't ever get mad about it. I'm like, I just love every bit of it because I didn't think I was gonna get to this point with that. Next up, the girls who entered the world via the rare exit procedure will enter preschool. Since their procedure, the team at Lurie has treated one other set of twins. 